Viewers, India has reported 227 new COVID cases. At least five have succumbed in the last 24 hours, taking the number of cases now to over 1,200. The government continues to insist that India is still in the local transmission stage of the coronavirus and efforts are being made to contain its spreads. Meanwhile, the doctors, scientists and innovators are working overtime to find a cure for this disease. And there has been some progress, viewers. The whole idea of imposing a 21-day lockdown was to ensure that the spread of this disease would slow so all of us would find the time around the world to find a cure or perhaps even a vaccine. And I want to, I just want to bring in Dr. Naresh Trehan, Chairman and MD of Medanta, as also Dr. Sudarshan Balal, Chairman of Manipal Hospitals, and Venkat Raghava, software engineer, who is also a survivor, in fact. And, and it's a pleasure to have you with us. Two of your callers, but I also want to bring in, uh, uh, right now, Venkat Raghava, software engineer who survived COVID. And I want to ask you, how was your time, sir, in uh, quarantine, and how did you feel? I got admitted on the 9th of March. Right. And uh, the isolation facility was getting set up uh, when I moved in because I am one of those first patients. Yes. And uh, they were cleaning up a large area. They put me into some corner room. May not be very comfortable, uh, like constructed in 1960s. Yeah. Uh, after a day or so, I moved into the larger facility, which was better, much better. Uh, good weather uh, control. At least the fan was there, the window that I can open and close, and the good bathroom facilities. Uh, mm -hmm. Surprised to see a government setup uh, upgraded. Well, uh, how was the uh, manageable uh, place? How, sir? Uh, can I ask you this question? What was the impact on your body of uh, Corona? Uh, what did you go through? Please share it with our viewers, sir. Yeah, I picked up in Heathrow, you know, on my way to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And uh, the issue is that, you know, even though I try to avoid it because yes. of boatload of Italians, uh, you know, rushing to U.S., Chinese rushing to U.S., I caught up in that uh, traffic. And uh, I tried to separate myself, but I got it because this, uh, the fierceness of this disease is uh, you pick it up. And uh, I picked up, even though I was trying to be careful, yeah. Uh, but uh, when I head back, you know, within four days in U.S. itself, the fever started, low-grade fever started. I pre my flight and head back home and try to, I declared myself at the airport authorities to check me out because they were not ready. I went home and uh, I found, you know, there's no information, went to local hospital. They didn't uh, have a way to, to test me out. Hmm. Uh, my brother-in-law, my colleague, gave me connects, and finally I landed in the Raju Gandhi uh, Justice Center in okay. Bangalore, where uh, they were clearly set up to receive and check me out. I gave a test on the day I arrived, and uh, next day, you know, I since I isolated myself from my family, I stayed upstairs, I separated myself, utensils to bottles of water. Hmm. I never made anybody you know, come near me. Uh, next day I got uh, admitted with a high virus load. Uh, the RDL is, uh, it was heading there because I never had fever in my life uh, right after my childhood. This is the longest ever fever, like 15 days of crueling fever I went through. Uh, so I had doubts it become true. Uh, so the ordeal of Corona is not a surprise, but it developed uh, into, you know, into a situation that uh, I was moving into anyway. Well, uh, thank goodness, sir, that you've been able to beat this back. Uh, we've got a few viewers calling in. Kailash calling in from Mumbai. Yes, sir, go ahead. Yeah, Rahul, I just want to ask two quick questions uh, to the honorable doctors. Number one, there is a clip going on uh, 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 research from China, which says there are very, very minute uh, microbes, biological particles when the people even speak. Forget sneezing. Okay. When the affected people speak right. and they are circulating. Secondly, whether the vegetables and the outside food which is brought inside the house, whether that is a risky proposition okay. to eat. Let me get Dr. Sudarshan Balal to answer that. Uh, first, the food and the vegetables, sir, when you buy them from outside, uh, are they at risk? Uh, good evening. 
Good Thank evening. you for having me here. Yes. Uh, the questions were whether the vegetables that you buy from the market are yeah. risky. Yeah. By, by and large, if you follow the common sense procedures of making sure you clean the vegetables, wash your hands, and cook them well, the risk would be almost close to zero. Thank you for joining us, uh, doctors. It is a pleasure and also. Uh, congratulations to you, Mr. Venkat Dragon, for beating back Corona. You've given a lot of hope to a lot of people. It's not as bad, his symptoms at least. Uh, and uh, he says that it was a long, enduring fever that he had to really fight off. And he didn't allow anyone else to come near him. And he would uh, use uh, cold compress on himself. But he really did never give up hope even once. And if you believe in yourself, you can get through it. We leave it at that. The news are coming up.